Hello, I am Professor Alex and in this video I am going to share to you the biggest opportunities and the biggest flaws with the artificial intelligence tools or the AI tools. As entrepreneurs, bloggers and online business owners are always looking for ways to automate the businesses and get ahead of the competition, the AI tools promise to do just that. Today I'll talk about one of the greatest opportunities for the young entrepreneurs to come up with AI tools because one of the greatest flaws of the publicly available AI tools is that they are trained on public data. So they are not allowed or they don't have the access to the private databases. So as a young AI developer or a young software developer, if you create tools that are uh, solving the problem of the private companies using their private databases for training, then there's a huge infinite opportunity for creating software for various companies. So that's the opportunity the AI driven tools will give you for additional business and additional entrepreneurship opportunities. Now let's talk about what are the flaws in the current AI tools. Number one, the AI tools are only as good as the data they are trained on. So if the data, if the sample size is not big enough or if the sample is incorrect or biased, the AI solution that you will get is completely and heavily biased. Number two, the negativity. You know, AI is trained in the public data with various social media comments and it's sometimes you know it, the negative comments train the AI data so the solution you know is very very negative and this is what happened when the Microsoft chat GPT and Microsoft new Bing they released their software what happened was people started communicating journalists started communicating with the AI and the AI gave threatening and very negative responses so Microsoft was forced to uh, restrict the interaction with five uh, inter interactions on a particular topic and 50 per day. The next flaw in the artificial intelligence tools is that if the AI is trained on incorrect uh, data, the solution will be incorrect. And frequently many bloggers, many content creators relying on AI found it out the hard way. The solution they got was very very incorrect because the AI was trained on incorrect data. So do not blindly trust the content given out by the artificial intelligence tools. The next point is that AI gives very generic content. So readers who read AI driven content is they are bored, they are not happy with the solution. So the writers have learned it the hard way. The copywriters, the ad writers have all learned it the hard way that AI solutions can only fit a particular category of solutions, but not all. Because human beings, they'll want to read stuff with emotions. They want to read stuff with creativity, with innovation. They are not used to read stuff which is completely a third person generic statement or generic paragraph, which is often very boring. So AI generated content is often very boring. So AI's solutions is not a one solution for all problems, but rather few of the use cases or rather many of the use cases that can be solved with AI tools, but not all. So be very careful about using AI for your workplace or your study because AI is not a very, very reliable system yet. And, but there is great opportunity if you are a software developer or if you are in various fields like content writer, AI can give you the initial draft to work with, okay? Good luck in using artificial intelligence for your work. See you next time.